AWS Site-to-Site -site VPN allows you to connect your VPC to your on-premise network. And so here is an example of a Site-to-Site -site VPN. You might see uh, some illustrations a little bit different, but more or less it is pretty much the same thing. But let's take a look at the components that are involved. Um, the first is the VPN connection. So this is the secure connection between the VPC and the on-premise equipment. You have your VPN tunnel, which is not illustrated here, but we'll see it in another slide as I, I did visualize it in another uh, diagram. Uh, this is the encrypted connection uh, for your data. We have the customer gateway, the CGW, which provides information to AWS about your customer gateway device. We have your customer gateway device itself. This is the physical device or software application on your side of the site-to-site -site VPN connection. We have the target gateway. This is a generic term for the VPN endpoint on the Amazon side to the site-to-site -site VPN connection. So I suppose, I'm just trying to look at our diagram because I don't see the target gateway in the diagram, but um, uh, I suppose it's what you're targeting. Maybe that's within the virtual private gateway. Again, not the best at networking, but I know enough of this to get you through it. Uh, we have the virtual private gateway, VGW. Uh, this is the VPN endpoint on the Amazon side of your site-to-site -site VPN connection that can be attached to a single VPC. Then we have transit gateway, which is not in, not in here, but the thing is, is that transit gateway is a newer um, uh, service and can be used uh, to uh, uh, utilize in a VPN. And we will we'll take a look at that, but let's just describe what transit gateway is. It's a transit hub that can be used to interconnect Multiple, multiple VPCs and on-premise networks. And as a VPN endpoint for the Amazon side of the site-to-site -site VPN connection. And I think one of the reasons why you'd want to use a transit gateway as opposed to um, a VPN gateway is because uh, VPN gateways only support IPv4, whereas transit gateways support both IPv4 and IPv6. But let's go look at more specific details. And this is gonna be a very boring slide, but uh, we'll get into the nitty gritties of the feature set for uh, for site to site VPN. We have uh, internet key exchange version two as uh, the method of, I guess, encryption or whatever. We have NAT tra traversal. We have four byte ASN in the range of what is provided there. We have two byte ASN for the CGW. Um, if you don't know what ASN is, we describe it in one of the slides. Um, we have cloud opt metrics. We have the reusable IP addresses of your customer gateways. You have an additional encryption options if you uh, so choose to want to utilize them. We have custom private ASN for the Amazon side for the uh, BPG session. We support for IPv6 traffic for the VPN connect uh, connections on a transit gateway. So that's that one I should have highlighted in red because I think that's a very important indicator as to why you would use one over the other. Uh, you can optionally enable acceleration for your site-to-site -site VPN connection via the AWS Global Accelerator. You can attach a site-to-site -site VPN to AWS CloudWAN. You can attach a site-to-site -site VPN to AWS Transit Gateway. Um, in terms of pricing, you're going to be paying for each connection per hour. Uh, the data transfer out from the Amazon EC2 instance to the internet is another cost that you could be incurring. For limitations, uh, it does not support IPv6 traffic uh, for virtual private gateway. If you want IPv6, you're gonna use Transit Gateway. Uh, the AWS VPN connection does not support path MTU discovery. Uh, it's recommended that you do not use non-overlapping CIDR blocks for your network. So for those who are not big into networking, um, you don't really need to remember all this stuff. The only thing that, that I think really matters is that IPv6, IPv6 difference and the pricing here. But for those that are into networking, hopefully this uh, was of value to you. So there you go.